up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Cruz, a.k.a. known as the Audio Cat with another video. We got a great little project we're going to be working on today, man. We got a beautiful Jeep here. Y'all can see that Jeep right there. Bad Boy Bass has to be the clown, but you're not know, doing We got this Jeep right here. It's a 2019, 2019 JL Jeep, and you can see it's a very beautiful Jeep. We're going to be doing a couple things to it, man. We're going to be working on uh, the new grill that came out from Oracle. It's called a Vector Series, so you've probably seen online. Now you're going to see it installed. We're going to actually get it painted green, but the client has to go out of town, so we're going to let them do what they got to do when they come back. We'll get it to the painted body, but we're going to get this factory grill that you see here right now and remove it completely and install this grill. Uh, light it up, get all the connections that are make it beautiful. We're changing it with the infotainment system that can allow us to be able to have the upgrade of Apple CarPlay and a couple of the features on it. And we also did down there the shock that you see there from Fox. So the stabilizer helps them drive better. You know, these Jeeps have a thing called the shake of death. They start to vibrate a lot. That actually take care of all that problem. But we're going to have the guys go ahead and roll and get this bad boy apart. So getting everything situated, get it rolling. Uh, to get the vector grill installed and get everything going good to go because we'll continue with a few all you gotta do guys is open the hood and then pop it comes right off that's how easy it is he's lying to you man it got both the clips he's just being a clown like always man you see this right here that's him lying man but these are the clips that you got to take off and so on but we're gonna get this bad boy that's what it looks like right now as he start getting the old grill out we're gonna start getting the new one ready to go and get it installed so we can get it all situated man but we'll continue with the video in a few and give you enough uh, cool, cool. This is what the grill cool, looks like. The back side, you can see everything already wired in with LEDs and, and the so front on. Side. This is going to be all the little connections, the bottom lights. It has a nice little strip that comes around. Flip the grill around so we can take a look at it. This guys. is the back side. Man, stop playing around so much, man. These are the LED lights that come here. These are the parking that you can see. But it has this vector grill. This is what makes it so unique. The actual LED that comes all the way across. We're going to be getting this installed in that Jeep right now and get it wired up. So what we're going to do? I got the rubber removed off of it. And what we're going to do? is drill a hole in these rivets so that we can move this black piece over to this piece. A few moments later. All right, so with the finale of this drill install, I'm gonna turn it on so y'all can see this is a vector series from Oracle. I want y'all to see what's going on. Watch this, just pay attention to the front when I hit the switches and y'all can see what happens. You gonna turn on the ignition. Damn. Damn. Did it flow? Yeah, that's shit. Hard. I'm gonna give it to y'all again off. You record that? Right now. On your channel? Well, that's what the vector grill looks like, y'all. We just got that installed on the vehicle. Uh, we're gonna have to get it. We're gonna get it painted and get some other stuff situated for it so we'll have this done. But by the end of this video, you'll see it completely painted, put on the unit, infotainment, and everything ready to go. But I'm a fan. I mean, if you really want to make your truck look completely different from every other Jeep out there, that's definitely an upgrade. You know, you come and get a 12-third North Beltline Road. It is a totally different look. It looks aggressive. It looks mean. It's hot. That's Six and a half hours later. So now that we got the grill done on this bad boy, what we're going to do now, we're getting the power door locks done. Drew already removed the door panel. These cars, when they're actually, the people think they're easy, but you see this mechanism you have here? It's written by a wire, so I want you to pay attention to this. You see the wire here? When you start putting force, you see how it moves everywhere? I want, I want you to see this. You see how I put it and it makes force and it doesn't do anything? But you got to see when I hold it, it starts to work. What I have to do now is I have to come and insert a bracket that's going to hold the wire in place so when I put my actuator, everything works the way that it was. So right now, I just finished peeling and coming across. I'm going to cut a little bit of plastic here to make a flat foundation and get this thing installed so we can get it situated. This is one of the other things we're going to get this done today. Uh, the four door lock can be working perfectly fine. We have the remote start working with it. Going to get the radio in and this should be out of here shortly, guys. All right, well, now that I got this piece installed, I'm going to show y'all closer what it does. Like I showed y'all, the wire was moving earlier. Now when I put this in place, I'm going to hit my lock and the lock. It sustains the cable in place. So it's basically just a space in between and give me the gap that I need to get this open in the middle. I get my door locks working. So now what I have to do now is I have to figure out a place to be able to get my actuator installed that could be able to run this device here. And that's where the next job comes into being difficult because now I have to start searching for places that I can be able to fit this through to get this bad boy modded in there, right? So I'm gonna keep on looking and see if I can find a spot here. I'm looking down here, I don't see nothing here. I don't see nothing here. I do see something right there. But to verify that, I'll take everything out to make sure I got a nice clean sweep. The other thing I have to worry about is that there's a mechanism in the back here for the window. So when I mount this down, I got my screws in place. I got to make sure I don't screw through something in the back so I can stop my unit from working. So I'm coming in here looking for this. So far, that could be my favorite spot. And now what I need to do is make the bracket to come in here and be able to sustain this. But now let's see if I got everything here situated. And if I do, we have victory. Calibration. 
recalibration. Yeah. Now this holds this in place here. My motor's in place, I already see that I got everything I need here. Now I have to make my bracket to make it work here and I get the rest situated, we'll continue. So what I did guys, now you see the mechanism, I already got it installed, you see the actuators installed, the brackets installed, and everything moving the way it has to, because now we'll do some testing to make sure that everything operating the way that it has to if we get it going. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the testing right now, we have the door locked, we unlocked it, and I'll lock it again. I tested these five times to make sure it's not gonna fail for the client, so we'll see. Vehicle's locked, we're gonna do unlock again, five times we should know that it's good to go, and then we'll know that everything's working, so that's two. That's three. And we're going on four. Hit a longer pause, man. Five, and the last one. So now we know that the door is working. So now this one's going to get connected to the system we have installed and get it situated. We're going to continue the next door. I'm going to continue with something else. Let me show you something that's pretty cool. We do the infotainment upgrades here. So if you have a Dodge Mopar, you have an 8.1 screen like this one has a little small radio. Go take a look at that radio, y'all. And y'all decide that y'all want to go and get the 8.4 from Mopar, we do it for you. We have with CarPlay, we have with Android Auto, we have with Navigation, we have anything you want to. This is the one we got in, we special ordered for her, and it can allow us to put an 8.4 screen onto this one. So no matter what Mopar you have, if it's a Dodge, if it's a Jeep, if it's going to be a Chrysler, whatever you have, if it has a small screen and you want to do the upgrades and get Apple CarPlay, the 8.6 screen, so on, come to AudioZone, we'll do it. I'm going to show you this as we keep on going through, and everything's the regional Mopar, we do it, guys. So we got the infotainment already installed to her, man. We got the the, the 8.4 inch screen on there right now. We got Mr. Josh here working on the remote start pack of it, but we're getting it situated right now. About to turn it on and see how it comes out and see how everything works out, guys. But we took out the factory unit, which you can see right here. That's the factory screen that came onto it. Replaced it with the 8.4. We're about to do some testing and make sure everything works right. We'll let you know in a few seconds. Okay, I got it here. Key's ready to go back. Let's power on for the first time. Oh, we got audio. We got everything here. We got nav loading right now. Let's lower this volume here. So navigation is ready. Everything there is good. Let's check out the applications. So we have the projection, which is going to be the one you're going to use your smart mirroring devices. That's all working good. We have the navigation phone, the climate control. Everything's working there good. I can shut this off. Bring it down to one, which is good. All that's good. Max AC. All that's good to go. Give me all my stuff here. So if I come here, change the temperature. It should start showing right there. Uh, so we, got, we go here, it goes up. We go there, it goes down. All that's good. We get this going, okay. And then we come to media. Everything working there, guys. So we got the infotainment system already ready to go on this bad boy. We're going to be finishing it up very shortly, man. But I'm just giving you updates because we do it. But that was a success. We got the infotainment ready to go. Cool beans, man. It's, it's looking good. It's coming together. Show me where we at. We good to Okay, guys, we got the finale of the Jeep right now. We got the grill put on. We got the, the Fox thing in the bottom. We got the remote start with the four door lock. We got the infotainment system that you already see working. So I'm about to wrap this up. I'm gonna give it to the customer right now. Grateful for the opportunity you guys give us of serving you guys and trusting with your work, man. We're all gonna strive to be the best that we can and do the best that we can. I wanna thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching this channel too, man. You have great support. We just hit 3,000 subscribers today. That's a great blessing that you guys have given us. Being able to subscribe to us in such a short time that we've had this channel, man. But I wanna thank you guys for all that. We got are all situated. I'm gonna give it a quick remote start, make sure everything's working. I already tested it, but make sure it doesn't catch fire right now. Remote starts on, the vehicle's good to go. The vehicle's already locked, I'm gonna lock the door. Everything's locked, I'm gonna unlock. I got everything that's situated. Then also with remote starts, you know that once you hit the inside, when you hit that place, they try to steal the vehicle. So they get inside the vehicle, you have the key fob in your pocket. Obviously, you have to have what they call a takeover feature. Not all the new cars have it. Jeep and some of the Americans do. But if he happens to remote start the vehicle and leave it outside in the parking lot or whatever, somebody tries to get in the vehicle, as soon as they hit the brake to put in the gear, the car's going to shut off. This is the owner of the vehicle. You mind coming on camera, sir? <laughs> Tell him your name for the camera. Uh, Jay Sharma. Jay Sharma, man. He referred to us from Real to Real's channel, man. And he came to us and we got the chance to serve him, got the grill done. We got everything situated, man. We've done the best we can to serve them. This is a little hiccups, and we're not gonna lie about it. We ordered some stuff on the 13th, 14th of November. Some of it actually came in yesterday, it's a long story, but you know, we wanna thank you for the patience you've had and trusting us to doing your job. Anytime. And thank you guys for having this, man. Hopefully we get you back and we can keep on serving you for the future. Again, wanna thank y'all for watching and subscribe, man. God bless.